Newsletters are one of the best ways to stay connected with your audience, but writing and designing them every week isn't easy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own newsletter automation AI agent step by step using NA10. And with this AI agent, you can just enter your brand name, website link and topic and it does the rest. So searching your brand, writing the content, designing it with your logo and colors and sending it to your subscribers automatically. It saves you hours of manual work, keeps your newsletters consistent and helps your brand stay active effortlessly. So guys, I'm Brand from Website Learners and let's get started. To create a newsletter automation AI agent, we are going to do eight steps. The first step is to download the workflow and to download the workflow, just click the link in the description. Now here you can see that we have a ready-made workflow template that you can use to set up instantly without building from scratch. In order to use this template, first we need to have an N8 in hosting. Now there are three different ways you can use N8. The first option is to host N8 locally on your own computer. The first option is free, but it is more complex to set up. The second option is using WebSpace Kit for hosting N8. This is the most quickest and the low cost way to host N8. This costs just $5 per month or 400 rupees per month. It's easy to use with zero setup required. You also get unlimited workflow executions and unlimited active workflows. The third option is the N8 Cloud, which is the official platform by N8. This costs 24 pounds per month, which is approximately $27. It's much more expensive and the features are limited too. In this video, we're going to purchase N810 from WebSpace Kit where we get unlimited workflow executions and unlimited active workflows. Since N810 is open source, you get much more benefits when you host it on your own on a platform like WebSpace Kit. Also, WSK provides 100 plus workflow templates for free along with the hosting. So to unlock the workflow template and get the N810 hosting, just click this workflow. Here, choose how long you want the hosting for. I'm going to choose 12 months. If you choose 24 months, this gives you the best price which is $5 per month. Then fill in these details, enter your payment details and click checkout. So now we have successfully made the payment and we've got our N8N hosting. Now click here and you can see that our plan is active. So let's go to step 2 which is to set up n 10 So to set it up, click manage, just scroll down and click go to setup. You are filling these details, click next and it will take you to this page. This is the place where we are going to create the workflow. We have got our own instance of NA10 on our own URL like you see here. This is completely private for you and only you can use it. Once you reach this page, this means you can now start adding and running your workflows. First let's download the template, just go to this tab. Now if we refresh the page, you can see we are now able to download this template. So just click download and the template file will be downloaded to your computer. Once you have the template, we can go to the next step which is to import the workflow template. To import the template, go back to N810. Now click here, select import from file and upload the newsletter automation workflow file you just downloaded. As you can see here, we've got our workflow. All right, we have successfully imported our workflow. Now we are ready to configure the nodes and connect the required API services to our workflow. So let's go to the fourth step, which is to connect Convert API to NA10. Convert API is a tool that changes the file formats. We're using it to convert the brand logo into a PNG file, which will later be used in the newsletter. So to connect Convert API to NA10, open this node, scroll down. And here we need to add the API key. To get the key, click the link in the description and it will take you to this page. Now click here and sign up with your Google account. Once you're signed in, go to authentication. You can see we've got the API key here, so let's copy it. Go back to N810 and paste it here like this. Now go back to the canvas. Great, we have now successfully connected Convert API to N810. Next, let's go to the fifth step, which is to connect Tavli to N810. Tavli is an AI research tool and we are using it to gather information about the topic we want to create the newsletter on. So to connect Tavli, open this node and this is where we need to add the API key. To get the API key, click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Then click here and sign in with your Google account. Once you're signed in, scroll down and you can see we have the API key here. So let's copy it. Go back to N8N and paste it here like this. Now go back to the canvas 
open this node and paste the same API key in this field too. Let's head back to the canvas. All right, we have now successfully connected Tavily to NADN. Now let's go to the sixth step, which is to connect OpenAI to NADN. OpenAI is used to analyze the brand's color palette and extract the logo from the website's HTML content. It also uses the information gathered from Tavily to write the newsletter and finally converts it into an HTML template. So to connect OpenAI to NADN, open this node, click here and select create new credentials. Here we need to enter our API key from OpenAI. To get the API key, click the link in the description and sign in with your Google account. Now go to API keys, click a create new secret key. Here give your key a name and click create. As you can see, we now have our API key. But keep in mind, you'll only be able to get an API key from OpenAI if you've added a payment method first. Now let's copy this key. Go back to Nate and paste the API key. Go back to the canvas. As you can see, we have one more OpenAI node to configure it, just open it in. And it'll be connected automatically. Great, we have now successfully connected OpenAI to NA10. Now let's go to the seventh step, which is to connect Gmail to NA10. By connecting Gmail, our AI agent would be able to access our Gmail account and send newsletters automatically on our behalf. So to connect Gmail to NA10, open this node, click here and click create new credential. Here we need to add the Google credentials. To get them, let's open a new tab and search for Google Developer Console and click on the first result. And it will take you to this dashboard. Agree to the terms of service to continue. Now go to credentials. First we need to create a new project. Give it a name. And click create. The project is created. Now click create credentials. Select OAuth client ID from the drop down. And click here. Now click get started, give a name for the app, select your email address and click next, then select external and click next, add your email address, click next. Agree to the Google API services user data policy, continue. Now just click create OAuth client. I'll select web application as the application type. Now click add URL. Here we need to add the redirect URL, which we will get from N8N. So go back to N8N and copy this URL. Switch back to this tab, paste the URL here and click create. Our OAuth client has been created and we can see both the client ID and client secret. So let's go back to N8N, paste them here. Okay. Once you have added the credentials, Gmail will be successfully connected to NA10. Now let's go to the final step, which is to connect Google Sheets to NA10. Google Sheets will act as our database where we'll store our subscriber list and the details of every newsletter sent. So to connect Google Sheets to NA10, open this node, click here, select create new credential and here enter your Google credentials and sign in with your Google account. Once that's done, Next, we need to add a Google Sheet where we will add our newsletter subscriber list. I have already created a template that you can use directly. To get it, click the link in the description and it will open this template. We'll make a copy of this template to use in our workflow. Just go to file and click make a copy. As you can see, this template has two tabs. The first tab is Sheet 1, where all the sent email content and details will be added automatically after each newsletter is sent. The second tab is Subscriber List, where we'll add our subscribers' names and email addresses. So let's paste the contacts here. Once we add this sheet to NA10, the newsletter will be sent to these contacts directly. Okay, now go back to NA10 and select the sheet you just created. Let's go back to the canvas. Open this node and select your Google Sheet again. And here select the sheet where the sent emails are going to be saved, which is Sheet 1. Now go back to Canvas. We have now successfully connected Google Sheets to NA10. So now we have connected all the required API service with our NA10 workflow and it's ready to run. Just click on Save to store your workflow. Just click Execute Workflow and this form will pop up. So let's fill it out. First enter your brand name. Here paste your website link and finally add the topic or query for your newsletter. Once that's done, click Submit and the workflow will start running in the background. Now let's open our email account to check the result. As you can see, a perfectly drafted newsletter is sent to our subscribers automatically, complete with our brand's color palette, logo and content based on the topic we entered. Pretty impressive, right? 
So that's it guys. This is how you can build and run your own newsletter automation AI agent using NA10. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and give it a try. The first step is to download the template on WebSpace Kit. And to do that, just click here and it'll take you to the same page that we saw in the first step. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.